Hello, welcome back to Pride Reviews, folks. Today we have 12 best LGBTQ movies on our collection. Hulu has an excellent selection of LGBTQ plus movies. So, without any further ado, let's take a look. Jack Lowden and Peter Capaldi play a younger and older version of war poet Siegfried Sassoon. Sassoon had a complicated life since he was both a decorated World War I vet and later institutionalized for his anti-war stance. He married and had a son, and later also converted to Catholicism. However, he also embarked on a series of relationships with other men. As a poet, he became a darling of the British aristocracy and the art world. His experiences inspired him to write amazing poems about the horrors of war, while his sexuality often proved a complicated part of his life. Boasting a 93% critical rating, Benediction is a superb wartime biographical drama with a twist. Poetic and stunningly crafted, it's a true, ish story that will blow you away. Directed by Terence Davies, fans of his other work, which include A Quiet Passion, The House of Mirth, and Distant Voices, Still Lives, will be sure to enjoy this. Sometimes the most powerful LGBTQ plus stories are the ones derived from personal experience, and the inspection is proof of that. Loosely based upon the real-life experiences of writer-director Elegance Bratton, his debut feature tells the story of Ellis French, Jeremy Pope, a young gay black man who enlists in the military to seek approval from his homophobic mother. During training, his sexual orientation becomes hard to hide, and he finds both support and bigotry from his fellow service members. The film, clearly personal to Bratton, is not always the easiest to watch, as evidenced by the depiction of a hazing that proves near fatal to French. But it's nonetheless a powerful watch, and it's achingly sincere in its plea for empathy and understanding from a world that isn't always the most welcoming. Jeremy Pope carries the film on his shoulders in a deeply moving performance that got him a well-deserved Golden Globe nomination. Love is Strange is nothing less than a love letter to those who overcome all necessary obstacles for the sake of their loved ones, as difficult as it may be. The film focuses on Ben, John Lithgow, and George, Alfred Molina, a gay couple who face homelessness after George gets fired from his teaching position. Without a viable income, the two are forced to live separately and at friends' homes, with the distance putting even more strain on their relationship. Adversity in the face of hardship is a defining constant of LGBTQ plus cinema, often to the point of contrivance, but this highly underrated 2014 feature manages to make the struggles of its protagonists feel character-driven and believable. Director Ira Sachs, who helmed last year's immensely underrated passages, directs his story with a graceful touch and empathy for his characters, and Alfred Molina and John Lithgow give beautifully internalized performances that only add to the emotional authenticity. Far from the gay centers of the world, director Yen Tan explores the complex and often forgotten lives of gay men in small-town America in the film Pit Stop. The movie gives a finely nuanced portrait of two gay men in small Texas slowly finding their way toward each other. On one side of the town, we meet closeted Gabe, who is getting over an affair with a married man by seeking solace in his relationship with his ex-wife. On the other side of the town, we meet Ernesto, who is still living with his ex-boyfriend, Luis, and spends his days reading magazine articles to another of his exes who is in a coma after he was involved in a car accident. This slow burn drama tells the story of Ernesto and Gabe's story from the observer's perspective, allowing the audience to understand what it feels like to be an outsider. Gabe and Ernesto have grown into emotional isolation, which is brought out in an optimistic, subtle, and poetic fashion without any melodrama. This results in a refreshingly quiet film where two men come together amid the backdrop of their small town. 
2023 was one of the best years for cinema in recent memory, but one of the most unsung classics was All of Us Strangers. Based on the 1987 novel Strangers by Taichi Yamada, the film focuses on Adam, a gay screenwriter, Andrew Scott, who finds his existence in a near-empty apartment disrupted by the arrival of a new neighbor, Paul Mescal. As they begin a romantic relationship, Adam frequents visits to his childhood home, where he discovers his believed deceased parents, Claire Foy and Jamie Bell, alive and somewhat miraculously not a day older than when he was a child. As previously mentioned, many of the best LGBTQ plus films are the most specific and personal, and All of Us Strangers is nothing if not achingly personal. But it's a fascinatingly multifaceted work. At one minute, it's a moving portrait of a man coming to terms with a sexuality that he never fully embraced, and at another, it's a heartbreaking story of grief and finding closure from loved ones we've lost. Andrew Scott, always great, is downright phenomenal here, selling his emotional journey flawlessly, and his co-stars are every bit as good. Joe and his father Troy embark on a journey through Montana and on their way to Canada, told through a series of flashbacks. Troy was once married to Joe's mother, who refused to accept his gender of choice. This causes a rift and a host of problems that eventually break up the parents' marriage and eventually lead to Troy illegally taking Joe away to lead him toward a better life where he will be more accepted. Cowboys tells a powerful tale that nestles all too familiarly among the real-life experiences of many trans person experiences. Steve Zahn gives a career-best performance in the lead as the father of a transgender boy, which fans of the actor won't want to miss. Flowing and keenly observant of its characters and setting, Punch swings above its weight class. Punch realizes that when it's two guys in the ring, as sparring partners or as romantic partners, outside forces can take them down for the count. Jim is a promising teenage boxer who's training under the watchful eye of his demanding and alcoholic father. When Jim develops a relationship with a male classmate, they must navigate isolation, homophobia, and the brutality of small-town life. As Jim discovers what it means to be gay, he soon realizes how little strength has to do with heroism. It's a delicate film with a pair of lovely, natural-feeling performances from its two leads. The kind of film you can take to your heart. Based on Andre Asiman's book of the same name, Call Me By Your Name is a tender glimpse into one's first love. Set in 1983 in Italy, the 17-year-old Elio, Timothy Chalamet, spends the summer with his father, Michael Stolbarg, an archaeologist professor. The initial boring days of doing nothing quickly fade away when Elio meets his father's new graduate student and teaching assistant, Oliver, Army Hammer, as the two develop a mutual attraction that blossoms into an all-consuming obsession. While the presence of the controversial Hammer now makes the film a somewhat awkward viewing, don't let that distract you from one of the most touching depictions of first love and adolescence of the last decade. Director Luca Guadagnino never manipulates his audience, instead emphasizing the slow way in which the relationship builds, from initial glances and letters to more carnal acts of lust. A young Timothy Chalamet, in his breakout Oscar-nominated role, says more in his eyes than many actors twice his age convey at all. After the death of her father, Ronit, a young woman, returns to an orthodox community that cast her out as a child. However, she ends up igniting her passion for her childhood friend. This is a fine film, both thought-provoking and moving. Disobedience is a powerful film both visually and narratively. It doesn't quite stick the landing, but it manages to keep the audience engaged with nuanced characters and strong conflict at every turn. Flawless acting, beautiful cinematography, and a well-plotted script add up to a gripping experience. 
This beautiful story of fun and freedom follows five friends on a journey as they escape to the titular Fire Island for an annual trip. They rented a house on the south shore of Long Island, which was famous for its gay communities and party scene. Soon, a drama akin to Pride and Prejudice begins to unfold, except with gay underwear parties and illicit drugs. Joel Kim Booster wrote and starred in this lovable romantic comedy. Margaret Cho also makes an appearance as the excitable house mother Erin, and Bowen Yang takes center stage as Howie. This beautiful celebration of gay culture is a fun ride that also explores themes of wealth disparity, gentrification, and self-confidence. Written and directed by Harry McQueen, Supernova is a heartbreakingly tender tale of aging lovers who go on a cross-country road trip in their old RV for summer vacation. Sam and Tusker have been partners for 20 years and clearly, the occasion demands to be celebrated. They decide to travel through England and visit their friends, family, and all the special places from their past before Tusker's dementia gets worse, and it's too late. Colin Firth and Stanley Tucci are absolutely brilliant at channeling their emotions in what went on to be their career-defining roles. As the symptoms threaten Tusker more frequently, they rekindle the spirit of first love against England's haunting landscapes. Because after all, in sickness and in health, love, joy, and memories are what truly last, lingering in our hearts and providing solace. The 19th century American drama follows two married couples living isolated on the frontier. While the husbands do the ranching, everything changes when Abigail, Catherine Waterston, meets her distant and sympathetic neighbor, Tolly, Vanessa Kirby. They explore a forbidden romance while isolated by both the location and their significant others. An intense and dramatic period romance the World to Come is based on Jim Shepard's novel of the same name. The World to Come won the Queer Lion Award when it premiered at the Venice Film Festival in 2020. The extreme isolation faced by the characters heightens every emotion, touch, and glance. This makes the central romance feel intoxicating and all the more precarious with their husbands around every corner. If you're interested in which best gay movies to watch on Netflix or Amazon Prime, then check out these two videos. And if you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this every week.